Some party you brought me to, mate. This is where the action is. We needed to get out of that lab. Just wait a few minutes, Charlie. Can you do that? Boring. I have an idea. You call this a party? Make those sounds you make. You're kidding. Do the dog. You can do a dog. So good. I love your dog imitation. Criminally. Bark. Bark. That was incredible. Charlie, you kill me. You absolutely kill me. You are far too easy to please. How about a duck? Come on, Charlie. Do it, duck. Quack. Quack. He kills me how good you are. You could pass for the real thing. Mercy. If only you could walk like a duck. You should go on America's Got Talent. May the bird of paradise fly up your nose. Hi. Well, skinny girl. Fancy meeting you here. Is this where the party is? It doesn't look like a party to me. Are we in the right place? Hey, don't we know those two guys over there? Charlie. Oh, Charlie, my good little buddy. I am glad you came. I think we might get lucky tonight. What do you want, Ted? Again and again. Over and over. All that old stuff about girls, again and again. I came here to have fun, not to get lucky. We never get lucky. How did you know I was thinking about girls? So, Charlie, let's play a game. Why? You know that I don't like games. Charlie, just maybe we can trick those girls over there into noticing us. You are dreaming. We aren't in their league anymore. Ignore them. Act like they are not here. Here it goes. I am starting the game anyway. I am channeling someone from beyond our mortal coil. Someone that you once admired long ago. Are you kidding me? You know that I don't believe in that psychic bull crap. It's a party, Charlie. Try and have some fun for once in your life. I could not help but hear you guys. Don't you ever stop arguing. Seems like old times for you two, nerds. Or should I say, lab rats? Yeah. Come on, Charlie. Give in a little. Relax those stiff nerves of yours. It could be fun. Remember the last time we played this game? When we were all 10 years old. It was great fun. A great memory that we all share together. Arg. Look at what I have to put up with around here. Can you believe it? Ted. Look at the fine mess you have got tinned me into. We will ignore your being. A self-assessed genius. Because. Well, because we are your only friends. Your only girlfriends in the whole friggin' world, Charlie. Cut us some slack. Okay. Okay already. You are all twisting my proverbial arm. Let this silly game begin. If you all must participate in these childish games. Try and believe, Charlie. Let the inner child out for a change. Just a little effort on your part. Police. We all have to believe in something. I am getting a message from the great beyond. From the far out, the way out there, outer limits. From the borderland where life meets death. It's coming to me now. His name starts with a cop. Or is it a coup? Or okay, maybe. All I know is that comedians like to use K for names in their comedy routines. They think that names and words with K's in them are funnier. Always the critical skeptic. Let's see now, I was saying. It's Captain. Er? Or maybe. Captain. Ah. Yeah. Captain something. Come on, Charlie. Loosen up. Don't be so flat. Charlie, won't you? Police. Play the psychic game. It will do you a world of good. You need to get out more. Scrub your dome clean of the musty spider webs. Oh my gosh! Do I have to? Okay. Ahem. Captain. Ah. Uh, Captain something. Maybe. Captain Hook. Not Hook. Hook. 
There is no hook. There is something though. I can sense it. Channeling. Is it Captain John? No. Maybe. Jim, I am getting something. I am channeling Captain Bob. Ooh. Captain Bob. Got something there? Anybody? Ring any bells? Okay. It sounds like Bob. Could it be John? How about Luke? Maybe. This is a shot in the dark. Could it be Captain Pickhart? Nope. Total dead end. I am not getting anything. My mind is a blank slate. A pitch black chalkboard. I am receiving an even stronger message. It says Captain. Captain. Something. Captain Kirk. I believe I have it. Captain Kirk. Ridiculous. This is ridiculous. A ridiculous waste of time. Charlie. I am channeling someone from your childhood. It is all becoming clear to me now. He lived in the black and white world. He was trapped. He was trapped in some kind of cube. It was a big wooden box. Come on, Charlie. Try to play the game. Come on. Think, man. Make the connection with Ted. Captain. Captain. Oh, my captain. Fiddlesticks. You guys almost had me there for a moment. I was seriously playing the game. I don't believe it. Captain K. I have it. It's Captain K. Or something. Ooh. Captain K. My, oh my. Does he have something there? Some kind of clue. I am thinking of someone. But this is all ridiculous. I am getting a picture in my mind of carrots. A big bundle of carrots. And a bunny rabbit, I suppose. How do you know that, Charlie? You are a genius. Oh my. You have exceptional abilities. Ooh. Surprise. What a fantastic surprise. And I suppose there are ping pong balls falling from the heavens too. Yeah. Wait a minute here. I am supposed to be the fortune teller here. And Charlie, you were the mark. It was supposed to be a joke. How in the world did you turn the tables on me? Charlie, you're amazing. The amazing Charlie. How did you do it? Come on, Charlie. Tell us. How did you do it? Frickin' amazing, Charlie. Must be some kind of trick. A skeptic's magic stun. Like pulling a rabbit out of hat or something. Charlie, can I have your autograph? My two-dimensional spine is a tingle. Can I touch the hem of thy robe? The hairs on the back of my neck are standing upright. All I want to know is, good God, have I witnessed a miracle? This is speculation. In the near future, Charlie will go on to write self-help books and become famous. He will go on the Oprah show. Charlie will make thrilling infomercials selling his new self-help guides. And he will amuse millions with his new and profound psychic talent. Yeah, we can say that we all knew him well. That we knew him when he was a little guy. Yes, a little guy at a little party. Just playing a simple parlor game when he discovered his sixth sense. All of this phony dream world stuff aside. Fanfare. Fanfare, please. Ta-dum. 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 The world-renowned, the amazing Charlie. Yes. That be me. Charlie is receiving a name through the thickness of the growing ether. Aha. Uh -huh. There it is. I have it in my grasp. Bob. Kieshin. Charlie. Oh my god. Bomb Kieshin. Captain Kangaroo. It is a... It is the captain. I can see him in mind as if he were here right now. Although it is in black and white, of course. Captain Kangaroo. Yippee. Three cheers for Captain Kangaroo. Hurrah for Captain Kangaroo. May he live forever in the annals of kid history. By God in heaven. Charlie, are you a member of the Captain Kangaroo cult? Nope. Not really. I prefer bananas myself. You are pulling my leg. Get out to here. I hate cold readings. The answer for all of these skeptics out there really was. Hush. Shh. Don't tell anyone. I don't want to ruin all of the fun, but it was really 
Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. I hate cold cereal. The human brain has the consistency of cold oatmeal. What can I say? 